we've got to rem- remember, you know, for the season is what happened almost a year ago yep. to the day, April 1st. It, it's it's when the previous coach left us and yep. you've gone a whole season now. You made the Sweet 16. They, you know, were eliminated in around the 32. You beat them twice. You know, kind of looking back, we were pretty mad then. Reaction is fuck them. Yep. Fuck him and what he did because everything he has said to us in the last five years that this is my home, this is my dream job. Bullshit. Yeah. Bunch of bullshit. Because it, and what I got from Kirby's press conference, it wasn't about the money because we had multiple extensions on the table in the last few months. Yep. And one of them was some kind of lifetime type contract, which I get maybe he didn't want that because he wants to go to the NBA at some point, but he was being shady all week apparently also because he apparently needed to sleep on it last night but all of a sudden this morning almost everybody's office in the facilities cleaned out and they're already down in austin like how does every all the coaches already know and they they left if you need to sleep on it and just decided this morning bullshit why he's even lying to Kirby. betrayed i feel lied to i feel like a lot of people have said, I feel like I got broken up with. Yeah. Um, this felt like like he fed us a bunch of horse shit for four years, five years, whatever fuck he's been here. And it was all a lie. It was all a lie. He didn't care. Doesn't care about us. We were just the next step in his journey to eventually getting fired by the University of Texas. Um and so yeah that's i just i'm hurt by it it sucks it's uh we've done everything to keep him here we built him a fucking facility um yeah we offered him a fucking lifetime contract he had everything fucking made here and he left and he left us for a job that's you know lateral you could view it as better because of the financial benefits and whatever but I, i think it's worse because of the pressure that'll be on him and he just left us in the dust. He was quiet about it all week. He's apparently been putting together a staff already for like the last yeah. week or so. Um, how that worked out. So just really, uh, real shady. We're finding out his true colors and his true colors are he's a piece of shit. And that's really what it is. Where's your thoughts on everything now? And how does that add to how you're going to remember this season? Yeah, that's what makes the season even more sweet. Like, to sweep them, make it farther than them. And they were supposed to have all these, they got all the transfers, you know. We were just getting, you know, mid-level type transfers. They got like three top ten guys. And they were getting this guy and that guy. But we kept the genius of the operations and more of the cool head. Um, The more I watched the other coach, he looks like a crazy person on the sidelines, whereas you never see our guy do that. Yeah. Um, and so I think we're in a much better place than we could have been. Um, I don't know that we win some of those games, like Notre Dame game or some of the, you can get this far hike with this group just because of, you know, his attitude can rub some people the wrong way. And they kind of realize that in their own locker room this, this season. Mm-hmm. And so I think the culture that the coach we kept didn't get on the plane and this group of guys that came in and wanted to do that with him. It just, it's amazing. It speaks leaps and bounds and we're in a better place, I think, than what we could have been. Yeah, it's uh, looking back, you know, how kind of devastated we were and, and to where now where we have all this hope and, and you have this newfound confidence in, your, in this team and this program and where it's going. You know, at the time we didn't know Mark Adams was going to want the job. Yeah. So that, that makes a lot of difference to why we reacted so harshly. But, you know, it's just, yeah, it, it's really cool to have kind of everything you thought validated, especially once Coach Adams took the helm. We're like, oh, we got this. He can, We can still be a really competitive team. Mm-hmm. And, you know, yeah. all of college basketball media kind of shitting all over us, the Goodmans, yep. all thinking yeah, we're going to go fall back into you know irrelevance but instead of doing that you were one of the best teams in the country all season you know, the best defense in the country yep. made the sweet 16 in his first year it's really sweet to know that 
your first year with Adams and UT's first year with Beard, you outperformed them yeah. in, in, in just about every way. And so now the test comes once, you know, you keep getting more recruiting and more of that done. Like, where do yeah. we go from here? Uh, but it's definitely a good start that leaves you feeling really good about yourself. And I think that's what goes into why I'm, it, did, it didn't hurt as bad when we lost to Duke, yeah. I think, is because... I'm like, I think there's going to be, I feel like pretty confident that there's going to be more Sweet 16 appearances. Catch y'all at the next tailgate.